to the RPB Resilience Chemistry. Today we are going to discuss about uh, the new topic uh, in inorganic chemistry that is uh, prediction of borines. Okay, so prediction of uh, like uh, which type of borine, whether it is closo, closo, nido, arachno, hypo, those kind of borines. Okay, so generally uh, like uh, borines as well as carborines and zinc lions prediction. Okay, in this class we are discussing about uh, like uh, borines, closo, uh, like uh, carborines as well as zinc lions. Okay, now let's move on to the topic. So borines. So generally, boron hydrogen compounds is, is simply it is called as borines. Boron like carbon hydrogen compounds are called as hydrocarbons. Okay. In similarly, boron hydrogen compounds are called as uh, borines. Generally, the boron valence is three. That's why it uh, it appears as BH three. It is in the monomeric form. So monomeric form it does not exist. So that's why it appears uh, like a B two H six is the diborene. Okay. Now B four H ten. So B five H nine. These kind of borines are absolute. These kind of borines B5 H9, B5 H11, B6 H10, B10 H14. Okay, those kind of borines are simply it is called as a higher borines. Are simply it is called as higher borines. So based on the like uh, these borines, so the number of borons and the hydrogens are de uh, deviated. So those de based on the those de differentiation, so we can classify the borines into several types. So generally here it is the boron. So if boron same number of hydrogen uh, hydrogens. Borons like uh, more than two number of hydrogens. So here hydrogens are uh, more than four numbers uh, than the bo boron. So here Bn Hn plus six, Bn Hn plus eight. These kind of uh, mo molecules. Okay. Now here Bn Hn, Bn H2n plus two. So simply here it is simple and uh, not the two n. So Hn minus two. This is the molecules. Okay. So generally Bn Hn it is uh, simply it is a hypoclosure structure. Bn Hn plus two. So the borons and the two number of hydrogens are exceeds. So simply it is nothing but a closure structure. We know that this is simply it is called as a closure structure. Now if four number of uh, hydrogens are increased, so simply it is a nido structure. So if five uh, six numbers are there, so then it is arachno structure. So eight numbers are there, then it is a hypo structure. So if ten number is there. N plus ten. This is the Clado structure. This is the Clado structure. Simply here, the same number of hydrogens as well as uh, two number, two less number of hydrogens. So simply, it is a super closure structure, hypoclosure structure, hyperclosure structure. These two are not absorbed in the borines. Uh, so these two structures are absorbed in the organometallic metallic clusters. Okay. So generally, in this boron case, we will uh, generally absorb these closo, nido, ar arachno, hypo, Clado type of structures. Close on nido hypo, uh, like a clado type of structures. Generally, let us discuss the, some of the examples. So, we know that uh, some of the uh, borines, this is called as diborine. So, the diborine having the which type of uh, structure, uh, whether it is closure structure or nido structure. Closure is nothing but a completely closure packing. Okay, nido is one vertex is uh, like a one vertex is empty in the closure structure, simply it is called as a nido. So, if two 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 vertexes are removed, then it is arachno. Three vertexes are removed, hypo, like four vertexes are removed from the closure, simply it is called cloud. Okay, those kind of molecules. Now, here B2 H2, this is the original number. Now, here, how many hydrogen? Hydrogens are increased. Four hydrogens. It comes under B and Hn plus two. Four. Simply, it is called as nido type of structure. Simply, it is called as nido type of structures. So, let's examine yourself. I think it is very easier, but B six H ten, B ten H fourteen. Okay. So, shall we start the our exam? Okay. Now here, six number of hydrogens are increased. The six number is nothing but arachno type of structure. So, this is the arachno. This is the nido. So, simply, it is the arachno. So, here it is the nido. Here it is also nido. Why? Because here four number of hydro four number four hydrogens are increased. Four hydrogens are increased. Six hydrogens are increased. Like here four hydrogens are increased. So here it is the six hydrogens. Six hydrogens will be nothing but arachno type structures. Four hydrogens nido type structures. Six hydrogens are arachno type structures. Okay. Now here, so these kind of molecules everyone can easily predict it. But so some of the students they are worried about uh, these kind of molecules. Like here B six. H six minus two. So this is the structure. So students are struggling. Okay. So they are worried about how do you predict these kind of structures. So very easy. Uh, okay. Now the negative means it is addition of protons. Okay. So minus two means here the loss of two protons. Uh, simply it is the parent compound is B six H eight. So the parent compound is B six H eight. Here the, the, here it is the two now two more number of hydrogens. Simply it is called as closest type of structure. Closest type of structure. Let uh, shall we uh, like uh, examine ourselves again. So this is the compound. So B twelve H fifteen minus. 
So then it is the parent component B12 H16. This, this comes under nidotype of structure. This comes under nidotype of structures. So the number of uh, hydrogens uh, is uh, is in the negative form. Simply it is nothing but uh, the, our boron classification structures. Okay. So that's why we will rewrite the our representation. So simply here it is the Bn. So here two number of uh, less hydrogens that indicates uh, here. 2 plus 2 the charge is positive so here it is equal simply equal so here it is the two number of hydrogens are more so those more hydrogens are in the form of a negative so simply it is a bn hn minus 2 so bn hn minus 4 bn hn minus 6 bn hn minus 8 bn hn minus 10 so this is also another representation of a closer nido arachno hypo cladro type of the structures so this is the very simplest uh, classification of boron compounds okay now again now let us discuss the skeleton pair of electrons of simple borings a skeleton skeletal pair of electrons so skeletal pair of electrons very easy so in case of a closer so here it is the n plus one skeleton pairs are observed n plus two for nido n plus three for arachno n plus four for hypo n plus five for nido sorry cloud okay so this is the skeleton pair of skeleton pairs now here skeletal pair of electrons skeletal pair of simply skeletal electrons here two into so uh, one pair is nothing but two electrons that's why two into n plus one here two into n plus two here two into n plus three two into n plus four two into n plus five so this is the simplest uh, diagram of uh, skeletal electrons and skeletal electron pairs Le uh, so shall we uh, uh, example so the, here it is the b2h6 here it is comes under nido type of structure so nido type of structure uh, so this formula for this skeletal electron pairs is n plus 2 so n plus 2 means n is the number of boron atoms now here the number of borons is 2 2 plus 2 4 pair of electrons are there so 4 pair of electrons is nothing but 8 electrons present 8 skeletal electrons so that is the so borons uh, simply it is uh, assumed as a skeleton so that's why how many skeleton electrons are present in the boron compounds these kind of uh, questions are all, might be asked in the like uh, CSIR as well as gate type of questions not only CSIR gate so like uh, local set questions are also there okay so here the total number of skeleton electrons is 8 uh, so now number of pairs is equal to the 4 okay so like uh, like that uh, let us examine another example so here it is the B5H9 how many electrons are there how many like uh, B5 5h11 how many skeleton electron pairs are there so here it is comes under arachnotype so n plus 3 so here at 5 plus 3 is nothing but 8 pair of electrons 8 pairs that is nothing but 16 electrons 8 pairs is nothing but 16 electrons of a skeleton electron pairs are observed okay so this is the simplest classification about uh, like uh, boreans as well as the each set skeleton electron pairs as well as skeleton electrons calculation okay now let's move on to the like a prediction of carboboreans carbo prediction of carboborans simply it is called as carboborans okay now these are the comes and okay now these are the comes under carboborans simply carboborans is nothing but a so this is the boron compound. Let's imagine here it is the boron compound. So instead of borons, so like here instead of borons, some of the like a carbon atoms are also involved. Simply it is called as carboranes. Simply it is called as carboranes. So how do you predict the, these carboranes structures uh, uh, regarding to the closer, hypo, cladder, those kind of uh, uh, structures, those kind of uh, structures. So how do you predict the, these carboranes into our borons classification structures? That is a uh, uh, closer, nido arachno hypo clado, those kind of structures simply here it is the carbon nitrogen oxygen so these are the comes under like a carbon nitrogen oxygen here it is the group number four five six so these are the group numbers okay so now here four or five or six so these are the group numbers of carbon family nitrogen family oxygen family okay so now so the carbon family group number four which is equal to the bh type of molecule bh type so 5 it is equal to the BH2, 6 is equal to the BH3. Why? Because boron is 3, 3 plus 1, 4, 3 plus 2, 5, 3 plus 3, 6. Okay. So simply these are called as a isolabel species. Isolabel species. Okay. So not only 4, 5, 6, uh, simply it is uh, 14 electrons and 15 electrons, so 16 electrons.
electrons are also appears like this. So four electrons are assumed as BH or 14 electrons are assumed as 3H. So five and 15 electrons are assumed as BH2, six and 16 electrons are assumed as BH3. So simply it is the like isolable analogy, isolable analogy. Okay, now let's move on to the prediction of uh, these carburetor structures. Okay, now I'll, I'll uh, predict the some of the compounds. Simply here it is the C2, B10, H12. Okay, so now here carbon is uh, comes under BH family that is BH, so two times B10, H12. Okay, let's uh, uh, let's sum, uh, sum, uh, sum, uh, sum, uh, sum <coughs> Okay, let's add the all the molecules here B12, H14, B12, H14. So here two hydrogens are more simply it is comes under closure type of structure. So germanium C2, B9, H11. Okay, now here carbon. So this is the BH, this is also carbon family BH, so BH taken twice, B9, H11, okay, simply here three borons are added, B12, so now three hydrogens are added, H14, this is also comes under closer type of structure, so PC, B9, H12, so here it is the BH2, BH, why, because the phosphorus belongs to the fifth group, that's why it is BH, fourth group of BH, B9, H12, simply here two borons, that is B11, so three hydrogens, that is nothing but H15, so simply, simply it is comes under nitro type, fourth one, S, B9, H11, S, B9, H11, so sulfur is comes under sixth group, that's why it is BH3, B9, H11, simply it is B10, H14, it comes under nitro type of structure, so like a S, B9, H13, that means two number of hydrogens are more, then it comes under arachnotype structures, okay, now here C2, B10, H12, C2, B10, H14, so it comes under B12, H16, it is the nitro type of structure, nitro type of structure, so these are the very pretty easier problems, whenever these kind of questions are given in uh, gate and uh, CSI exam, it helps uh, to minimize the time maintenance, okay, that means these questions are very, very like uh, simple questions, pretty easy questions, these, these, these type of questions are time saving questions, now the seventh question, this is the like a uh, C2, B7, H11, COCP, okay, so this is the like a uh, coordination compound simply it is a organometallic type of compounds okay so c2 b7 h11 we know that uh, c2 that is the bh type of molecule so here it is the two types so we don't know the cocp type cocp type so these organometallic compounds can comes under like isolable analogy so co cobalt is s2 d7 so cp is five electrons so d s2 d7 is nine nine plus five is comes under 14 electrons so 14 electrons are treated as four electrons four electrons is nothing but bh so the total molecule is nothing but BH unity BH2 B7 H11 so this is the BH totally it is a B9 plus 1 B10 so H13 on H14 so this is comes under nido type of structure okay I think it is pretty easier okay so whenever these kind of organometallic compounds are there those molecules calculate the valency electrons or total valency electrons so those valency electrons converts into its uh, isolable analogy so just substitute those isolable analogy like a BH or BH2 or BH3 kind of molecules so shall you uh, examine the next compound so C2 B9 H11 are you CO taking thrice? Okay, are you is ruthenium? It comes under iron family that is S2D6. Okay, now so here it is the three carbonyls and that is a six electrons. Eight plus six here also 14. It comes under BH. So BH, B9, H11, BH taken twice. So simply here two hydro two borons, 9, 11, 12 borons. B12, 2 plus 11, 13, 13 plus 1, 14, H14, it comes under closer type of structure, it comes under closer type of structure. So, uh, let us uh, examine yourself these two compounds, uh, similarly the above examples, okay. So, let us examine yourself, I do not uh, I don't want to give the those solutions, okay. Now, let us move on to the final thing, that is regarding to the zintl ions, okay. How do you predict the zintl ions into boron classifications, like a uh, closer nido hypo arachma? Okay, now these are the examples of gentle ions. Simply, it is inorganic, inorganic elements. Gentle ions. Okay, now here gentle ions classification is different from the like a closed on nido type of uh, arrangement that is B and H and plus two. Here it is the like inorganic materials. So that's why so those inorganic materials simply it is uh, cla classified as like these type. Of. So four n plus two, four n plus four, four n plus six, four n plus eight, four n plus ten. So four n plus zero simply four n. So four n minus two. 4n minus 2. So 4n plus 2 compounds simply it is called as closer type of compounds. Nido, arachino, hypo, 
Clado. So this is the, the simple classification. Form plus two is Clozo, plus four is Nido, plus six is uh, Arachno, plus eight is Hypo, plus ten is Clado. Okay, so this is the simple classification. So simply here, four n is uh, like a mono capital Clozo, mono capital Clozo. Now here it is bi capital Clozo, bi capital Clozo structure. So this is the simplest structures regarding to the like zinc ions. This is the simplest structures. Okay, whenever we will get the four n type of molecule, simply it is a mono capital Clozo. So here it is the 4 and minus 2 is there at a bi capital close -up. those kind of moieties are observed okay now let's move on to the like a, one of the examples simple examples okay discuss the one of the example simply here it is the like a, we, did, we didn't observe these 4 and 4 and minus 2 that is a close -up, mono capital bi capital okay now let's move on to the one example so p4 so not the p power 4 it is a sub, uh, subscript p4 okay so p4 how many total number of electrons simply here how many total number of electrons are there four phosphorus atoms so each phosphorus atom have valence electron is five four five is a 20. so first of all uh, we, we shall calculate the total number of valency electrons of any system okay so these valency electrons which are equal to the 4n plus something 4n plus x is equal to total number of electrons 4n plus x is equal to total number of electrons here n is equal to number of uh, metal atoms okay now here four non-metal atoms so number of so four non-metal atoms are present plus x is equal to 20 so 16 plus x is equal to 20 so here x is equal to 4 x is equal to 4 so this is comes in the 4 in plus 4 type of category 4 in plus 4 is nothing but a nido type of structure this is the nido type of structure so the p4 structure is nido p4 structure is nido like this so this is the p4 type of structure okay so now these kind of structures which are similar to the like borings which are similar to the borings p4 having the like a nido type of structure this is the gate question so this is the previous year gate one more question okay now let's move on to the sn9 4 minus sn9 4 minus so first of all we shall we calculate the total number of electrons is tin this is comes under like a carbon silicon germanium tin lead that this, this is the fourth group elements so 9 into 4 that means 36 plus 4 electrons that is the total number of valence electrons is 40 so here 4 n yeah, the total number of central uh, central metal that is central non metal 9 so plus x is equal to 40 so simply 36 plus x is equal to 40 x is equal to 4 so this is also comes under 4 and plus 4 so simply it is also like a nido type of structure so this is also nido type of structure so next one is sn9 minus 2 that means here two electrons are only added that is 38 so here it is equal to the 38 it is equal to the 38 here the x is equal to 2 so that comes under 4 and plus 2 so the 4 and plus 2 structure is closer type of structure 4n plus 2 is very pretty easier type of questions. These are come uh, regularly asked in the like a CSAR and gate as well as AP set also. Okay. Now here it is the closer type of structure. So generally we observed germanium. Okay. So germanium which 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 group uh, either carbon or nitrogen. So generally carbon, silicon, germanium, tin, lead. So germanium also comes under carbon group. That's why these two structures are equal. So these two structures are equal. We don't want to go for the complete solution. Okay. Now here. So the remaining one B I five plus three. So this is the AP set 2019 question. AP set 2019 question. So B I five plus three. So bismuth is a, like it comes under nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony, bismuth. This is comes under fifth group. Five five is a 25. So plus three means minus three. So the uh, uh, removal of electrons. Now we will get the 22 electrons. 22 electrons, which comes under four. N is equal to five metals. So plus x is equal to 22. So here 20 plus x is equal to 22. So x is equal to 2. It is a comes under closer type of structure. So this is the like AP set question. This is the AP set question. So now the finally, indium Bi3 minus 2. So here it is the two different kind of metals are there. So total one is the third group elements. So indium is third. Now bismuth is fifth group elements. So 3 5 is a 15 plus two electrons so totally three plus 15 plus two that is comes under 20 so the total electrons are 20 four n plus x is equal to 20 so here four n is equal to total number of metal non-metals are four so here total number of central metals are four four fours are 16 16 is equal to the 20 okay simply four fours are 16 plus x is equal to the 20 x is equal to four so this is comes under nido type of structure this is the comes under nido type of structure so these are the common questions from ap set 
as well as CSR net. So this is the one of the CSR two marker question. So P4 is the uh, like gate 2015 question. I think I get 2015. So pretty easier topics. So we, we will get the like a very easier marks. We will get the more number of marks uh, with uh, lesser time. So these are the time saving questions. These these kind of uh, like a uh, like any type of. Uh, sorry so these kind of topics are uh, like uh, time saving questions okay that's all for this video in this video we are learning like a uh, classification of boranes as well as uh, classification of carboboranes so carboranes uh, like uh, it's a uh, prediction of carboranes structures whether it is closed or nido or a hypoclado okay so hypoclado so as well as zintl ions classification as well as their prediction of their structure prediction of their structure okay i think it is very helpful for you guys thank you so much for watching